In this video, I want to demonstrate how to use Mastercam's Plane Manager here to create a new datum or part zero to work from. By default, wherever the part origin was is where Mastercam will create the part zero. So in this case, right here. And these arrows point in the positive direction. So this is the X positive, Y positive, and Z positive. If I'd like to work from the center of this hole as my part zero, I can do that by clicking the plus, telling I'm going to create a new plane from the geometry. I'm going to uncheck the two lines only, and I'll select this face, and there's where that will be created. However, if I would like it at the corner of this part, and I would like this to be my X, and this to be my Y axis, I would right-click here and clear this selection, turn on from two lines, then I'll select this part edge, and then this part edge, and the axis is created, but the Z is pointing in the negative direction. So to fix that, I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees about the Y axis. So in about Y, I'll highlight the field, enter 180, and I'll click in another field to see it create it. So now my Z is going in the proper Z plus direction, but I would like this to be my X plus and this to be my Y plus. So once again, I need to rotate this, this time about Z. So I'm going to click in the about Z field and enter 180 degrees. If I push enter, nothing will happen. If I click in another field, then it's set up. And in this case, each of the axes is pointing in the proper direction. So I'm going to give it a name. I'll just call it the top corner. I could call it G54, anything I like. And now it's named. And to create it, I'll say OK. Back here in the Plane Manager, we can see it's highlighted. And if I want to program from there, I'm going to need to click that the work coordinate system is there as well as the tool plane. If I come over here and say draw the axis, I can see the axis is here and no longer on my origin. Now that I've created a work offset, I can do several other things. If I come up here, I can show or hide its nomen, and I can also tell what I would like to show and hide when I select this option. I'm going to leave it turned on. And then I'll come down here. With this work offset, I can have it automatically create a G54, 55, etc. Or in the case of Nakuma, a G15, H01, G15, H02, etc. Or I could manually tell it to create the work offset. So I'm going to put it back to automatic. I can also shift the location of this along my part if I'm not happy with it. I can deselect it and reselect a new point. And if I come here, I'll just click on this. And what I did, I'll go back to the feature tree, was create a 3D sketch right there. Come back to the plane manager. If I now click on this, and I'll zoom out a bit, you can see I've created a plane. So over here, I've created a plane. I'll come back here one more time. If I now select on this, it's created a work offset. So I'll go over here. So it's created a SolidWorks coordinate system, as shown here and we can see the arrows. If I don't want any of these, I can just select them. I'll select all of these, right click on them like I would any SOLIDWORKS feature and delete them and say yes to all. I'll come back here to my plane manager. I've created this one. Zoom in a bit. When I'm ready to work on this face, again, I'll create a new plane. So I'll come back here, select this. Once again, I'll tell I want to create it from geometry. I'll stick with the two line method. I'll choose this edge and then this edge. Once again, I'd like my Z pointing this way, so I'll rotate the axis about the X. I'll click in this cell, enter 180, click in another cell, and then it's rotated. So in this case, once I come here, the Z's pointing in the positive, the X pointing in the positive, and the Y in the positive, and that's how I'd like to work on this face. So once again, I'll give it a name. I'll call it front. And I'll say OK to accept that. When I want to work from there, once again, I come into the Plane Manager, select the front, and it's named it Front 1 because there's already a master cam front. And I'll tell it this is my work and coordinate system. I'll go back to this master cam tab. If I draw the axis, I see the axis.